Welcome to our tutorial about literals. Literals are values that stay constant. On screen right now, you see an example of a numeric literal. In this example, the number of hours in a day is 24. That's just one example of a value that might be a constant in your script. A literal can be represented by the byte or the integer data type. Here's another example of a numeric literal. Let's say you've got 7.5 working hours in your working day. This value can be represented by the single or double data type, and that's because of the decimal point. Here's an example of a string literal. A string needs to be represented by the string data type. It's placed inside quotation marks, as you can see on screen here. The number 1976 is an example of a string literal. From Visual Basic's point of view, a string is just text without numeric value. But if necessary, Visual Basic can convert this string literal to a numeric literal. You may notice the string that I've defined as a set of double quotation marks. So where's the string? Well, the double quotation marks are placed together without anything between them, not even a space, and that's called an empty string or a null string. So in reminder, your string needs to be placed between double quotation marks, one at the beginning and one at the end. A null string is just the quotation marks without even a space. Here's my last example of a literal. This is a time literal. The time literal is embedded between pound symbols, also called the hatch symbol. This literal is represented by the date data type. It can be written in any valid date or time format. This concludes our brief overview of literals. In my next tutorial, I'm going to teach you about variables.